Today I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to take a photo on an action camera and then use Photoshop to make that photo look as if it was taken with a DSLR camera. So I'm going to be using the Insta360 4K mod and because I'm in kind of a fallish mood I'm thinking a pumpkin and uh, this pair of fluffy fuzzy boots is going to make a good subject for my photo. Well, I took about a dozen photos trying to get an angle that I liked on this. I think I finally got a photo that I'm happy with. I'm gonna go ahead and load that up into my computer, and first I'm gonna open it in Lightroom, do some basic color correction on it, and then we'll proceed it on to Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Lightroom, and one thing that I do to almost all my photos is just come up here to color and apply this photo filter that's called Artistic 3. Then I'm going to come down here to the color mixers. I'm going to turn up the saturation on red. I'm going to turn up the saturation on orange, on yellow, and green. I'm going to turn the luminance up as well. And the hue I'm going to push towards blue in the green there. Now coming up here, I'm going to turn up the contrast a bit. Turn down the highlights. Turn up the whites. I'm going to turn up the texture. The clarity just make this a little bit sharper and to all my photos I always turn the color noise reduction all the way up. Now you can see a before and after on our simple color corrections there. I'm gonna go to file, edit in Photoshop. Alright now that we're here in Photoshop I'm gonna use the quick select tool to select this front boot here and also the toe of the boot that's on the ground. I'm gonna hit Control J to make that its own layer I'm going to come in here again with the quick select tool, select the pumpkin and the rest of that shoe and hit control J again to make that its own layer. So now we've got two layers, the front boot, then the back of the other boot and the pumpkin and then we have our background layer of course. So while I have both of the boots selected, um, I'm going to click on my background layer, go to edit, content aware fill. And this is just going to fill in that selection with bits and pieces of the rest of the photo. So now our boots are invisible in that background layer. So now I'm going to go to filter, blur, gallery, and tilt shift. So this has a blur on the top and the bottom. I'm going to bring that together a bit there and hit OK. So now we've created some depth of field in the photo where we have our main subjects in focus and a nice blurry background. But I also want that pumpkin to be a little less in focus but not as out of focus as the background is um, because it's kind of in between. So I'm just going to take the blur tool and drag that along here, blurring the pumpkin and the top of that boot that's laying on the ground. I'm also going to blur the toe of the boot that's laying on the ground as well. Just the last finishing touches, I'm gonna crop this in so our boots are filling up more of the photo. Uh, I feel like the colors just need a little bit more tweaking here. So I'm gonna bring it back into Lightroom, add a vignette effect to darken the edges, and I still want that middle boot just to be a bit brighter. So I'm gonna bring in a local adjustment here and raise the shadows within that local adjustment just so that front boot is a bit brighter so your eye is drawn more toward the center of the photo. And that is my finished product. I'm gonna call it quits right there. So here is our before and after. Wow, that is just looking so much better. Your eye is just drawn right in to the subject of the photo. I'm really liking that. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, then go check out some of my other videos right here and I'll see you next time.